My father was interested in filmmaking uh, in a limited way in, uh, when I was born and eventually I came across uh, his camera and projector in a bottom drawer and asked him if I could play with it. I was about eight or nine at the time and uh, really started from there. But he, he bought this camera, which I still have, um, a baby Pathy. Well, the films that my father took of me as a baby in 1925 onwards, um, I still have on, uh, now on DVD. Um, well, we founded Lee Amateur Cine Society in 1940 just at the beginning of the war. In those days, we started off making a few local films on how to put out incendiary bombs and uh, a comic film about um, a bomb in a suitcase. Uh, but really, my film making has all been documentaries or travelogues. Well, the first major film I suppose I did was um, um, the National Garden Festival in 1986. In spite of the frequent rain showers, the day had been a huge success. Uh, well, no, strictly speaking, I suppose before that, 1980, uh, I worked with other members and we made a film about um, saga making at the Gladstone Pottery called Mowing the Saga with Ralph Wielden, who was one of the four last saga makers at the time. Well, the first royal visit I did was um, in the early 80s uh, when Princess Anne came to open the Chatley Whitfield Museum. Uh, and I filmed um, Princess Anne's about five visits to the Leek and Stoke area. And um, the Queen, when she came to Stoke in uh, uh, 99, I think it was, and then, well, that was when she opened the Regent. In 97, she came to Stoke to open the Bradley Village. And, um, well, in 1983, I think it was, when the Unity House was started being built, uh, that was the time Ray Johnson and I were working on a, a major film about the potteries called Power Over the Clay. Um, which involved Stoke-on-Trent as it was and as it, as it was at that time and looking towards the future. And uh, Unity House was featured in this as one of the new buildings. So I was fortunate in uh, getting permission to go and film it close up. Uh, went up in the outside lift, which uh, I've talked about before. Uh, left having a very fine mesh which I couldn't film through so they suggest I stood on the roof instead um, which I did but I hadn't realized it was very windy and about seven or eight stories up it began to get very windy and uh, I noticed that the um, rack and pinion thing we were traveling up didn't go to the top of the building, so I didn't know quite what would happen when we got to the end of this. Fortunately, it did stop, <laughs> and uh, that was the tenth story. So I clambered in through the tenth story window and climbed up the remaining 88 stories to the 18th floor and filmed from the roof and got some good shots from up there but I couldn't actually use anything from the lift because it was so windy and I was hanging on. I always liked it as a building against most other people, <laughs> but um, of course it wasn't built well. Uh, it had to be propped up soon after it was built. Uh, apparently they hadn't taken into account the, uh, the weight of the furnishing, furnishings and the various things, and it was heavier than they'd anticipated. Uh, for 15 years I did a, an annual newsreel, so anything of importance or unusual 
happenings in Leek and area. I used to go, I used to watch, look out in the centre on the Leek Post to see what was coming up and went and filmed them. Well, the big event, of course, was the 80th anniversary of um, the uh, Nicholson War Memorial, uh, which was, I've actually got footage of the unveiling of it in 1925, which is the year I was born. It was unveiled in August. I wasn't born till October, so I wasn't involved. <laughs> Made a film about Leek with Paul Anderton some years ago called Leek the First Millennium, which is a thousand years of Leek history. Uh, yes, I was out filming like I was at the Garden Festival. Going back to that, I, f I went 18 times to Garden Festival to get material, both before it was set up and afterwards. Well, I started collecting um, my own equipment as I progressed. So that was really the start of my um, collecting of projectors. Um, most of my projectors are, are ones that um, are being given to me, uh, which I really rescued from the tip required quite a lot that way, so I really rescued them. I went up to Buckingham Palace, took uh, three friends with me, and Prince, it was Prince um, Charles that day who was doing the honours, and um, a little chat, he was quite easy to talk to. I told him about um, the fact that I'd been in the Air Force and I was stationed in Egypt, and that we'd had a special parade on the day that he was born. 